from my no makeup and pyjama attire. Uh, my sister's getting married on Friday, which is in two days time. And I have been left in charge of decorating the letterbox for all the um, cards and stuff. And I've left it till the last minute. So that is why I look like this and it's 10 o'clock at night. This is the letterbox. It was brown, but I did give it a few coats of spray paint to give it this kind of off-white color. And the only brief I have is lace, white, red, and loads of diamonds. It's, so I've got lots of lace and ribbon, some red bits. Her flowers are roses. And I thought I'd ordered white ones as well, and they came and they were this big. So there's a lesson there. When you buy off of eBay, make sure you pay attention to the size because I thought I was getting white and red that looked like this, but I've got these. So, uh, been to the works. The works is a great shop. Diamond, um, some lace butterflies, little birds, hearts, diamante numbers letters and a little plaque from hobby craft from ikea little foliage bits i even got a plan but i'm just going to start and see what happens so i've got silver acrylic paint and some kind of pearlized white paint put it on just a normal sponge that you use like for your dishes spread it all over just to get this kind of metal effect just really roughly just in this crisscross direction and that is going to give it a nice pearly metallic-y metal-y effect like a real letterbox it's really quick to do i'm probably just doing like one layer and maybe just do a few little bits this plaque that I got from Hobbycraft which is going to be the little thing that goes on the front that's been painted white so I'm just going to wait for that to dry got these roses which are a bit too red for me so I'm going to spray them with the white that I used for this and then hopefully they'll look a little bit like frosted like this <laughs> I love spray paint. I had an ex-boyfriend once who was a graffiti artist and he introduced me to Montana spray paint, which is amazing. There's so much you can do with it. You can do stencils with it. You can do like nice little misty. So if you haven't had a go at spray painting, it's really, really fun. Also got some silver. I think I'm gonna put a bit of silver on as well. Actually, I'm not. We're going to stick with the wire. There we go. I've got these um, little wooden letters, which um, I'm going to spell out Amy and Tony. That's their names. And I'm going to cover them in gold leaf. Um, this is to go on the plaque. You must have seen me use gold leaf before if you've watched any of my videos, because I love it. I use your adhesive. And you get a brush. And you paint it on to the surface that you're going to put the leaf onto. Wait for a little bit. I mean, I think you're meant to wait for about 10 minutes, but I always wait for about two minutes because I just get so eager. And then you carefully take the gold leaf from the book and then using another brush, Gently, you can see it's still sticking to me now. Lay that onto the surface and then brush off the excess. You can see I haven't done the whole thing. You can see it's all nice and gold. You can get it in bronze, you can get it in silver. It's amazing. It's one of my favourite little crafty things. I use it at every given opportunity. Like now. I'm turning myself to the lid now. I've got some 
ribbon which I'm going to wrap around the outside. I'm just deciding which colour. I know whether to go like dark grey or kind of silvery grey. Yeah. And then I'm just going to put some of these little diamantes around the edge as well. Just using double sided sellotape. Stick this around the edge and then I'll peel that off and then stick the ribbon to it. Oh, I've got these scissors. So I've finished the lid with all those diamonds around the outside and the ribbon. So I put all the lace around the outside. That was just with super glue. I think that looks quite pretty. Now I'm going to stick all the letters on. So I've got Amy and Tony in my gold leaf letters. I'm going to lay it all out. I'm going to stick a couple of white roses on there as well. And then stick it on with the glue gun. And hopefully that'll look quite nice. So I've finished my plaque. There it is, Amy and Tony and the date. So next I am going to turn my attention to the flowers and the roses which I sprayed earlier. Thistle, fake foliage, lace is which I'm going to put together and place, oops, place around the letterbox. I don't really have much of a plan, I'm just kind of bung things together and seeing what happens. I'm going to cut some of these bits off. That's going to be trickier than I thought it was going to be. That's really strong. These are really strong scissors. They should be able to cut through this. Is ah, there we go. So I've come up with quite a good way of taking the flowers off of this pesky wire that I didn't realise was in here. So some of them don't have a wire in. Those you can just snip off like that. The ones that do have the wire in. I'm just cutting through the plastic casing till you get to the wire and then you can just pull it off and then the wire is left there and the little plant bit is here. So the plan is to do a bit of a flower arrangement around the bottom. I've also picked these bits up from Ikea. And these are, it's called Somnig and they're just decorative balls. I'm gonna cut these in half. I've got to have to do it with a knife. So, um, it looks a little bit like this. Let's just cut into this. And then they kind of break open and then you can use your scissors. There you go. So just gonna use the glue gun and just kind of stick stuff on and arrange something down there and see how that looks. Slight of a bit nervous about it. <laughs> and the red and a few little green bits around fitting it in like a little jigsaw puzzle so when I've finished this I'm going to go back round with the diamond some bits of lace lace butterflies as well and just kind of stick those in and I don't know make it a bit more jazzy oh don't stick it to the floor you want to stick it to the actual thing. <laughs> I'm actually really pleased with it. I'm just gonna give a quick time check. It's quarter past two in the morning. I've watched the whole of Fleabag. I've watched the whole of Broad Church. I've run out of things to watch. <laughs> Going through hot glue sticks like no one's business. I've had to open another packet. <laughs> generous on the glue just stick loads on any little spaces that I can see I'm just sticking a leaf in I mean 
I do tend to get a bit overexcited and go really over the top when I do this kind of thing. Okay, so I've finished around the bottom. So there we go, that's gonna sit there like that. Now I'm gonna just do the little slot. I'm gonna go round it in the same ribbon as we did this. And then I'm just gonna sort of embellish the corners with a little bit of what I've done around here. It is 2.40 in the morning. Double sided tape, glue gun, I like the must have tools for this kind of project. They make everything so much quicker and easier. It's 10 past three in the morning. I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. But I have to get this done tonight. Um, I'm down to the last bit, which is the little statuette that's gonna go on top of the lid. So I'm gonna make a little platform out of these. These are the um, insides of the ribbon that's gonna sit on there. And then I've got my little statue that I've made, which is a white heart. And then my two gold leaf lovebirds, which are gonna sit up there. And then surrounding that, I'm gonna do a continuation of what's on the bottom just around there. Glue gun, get the ready. So the last thing to do is stick the plaque on the middle of the letterbox and then that means that I can go to bed at 10 to four. Loads and loads of glue on there. And I forgot something, these little, keys which will go perfectly now where does a key on a letterbox go hmm. and here it is all finished i'm gonna go to bed so thank you so much for watching Haley's handbits tv please feel free to like share and subscribe for more arts crafts hints tips and tears and that kind of thing thanks again bye <laughs>